well, that was the longest loading screen in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the best here to commentate on in COS. It is by far and the most exciting in terms of racing. It is the America's tier. Uh, you join me tonight, Eat the Cookie 1, with Titchy as my sidekick for this very early morning for me and him. Good right, morning. Titchy? Yeah, well done. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Should be an interesting race tonight, I think. Oh, Unfortunately. I think so. No rain in the qualifying. There better be rain in the race. I want to commentate on a rainy race. It is my dream. Haven't been here since China. I haven't <laughs> been here since China. And he's back. The he's duo back. are back. The dream <laughs> team. Fenrique's first out on track. Ooh. Interestingly, not deploying the uh, toe with Al by the looks. Alp by the looks of things. God. I don't get the two mixed up. No, I don't want to do that. They're both from Mercedes as well. Seems to be pushing very, very hard on an outlet. Yeah, he is. <laughs> going, going wide slightly <laughs> on the grass. Um, oh, yeah. The Ferraris are out together though. Oh, it's good to see. It's good to see. It's what you want to see. Bit of teamwork. So yeah, should be a good race. Um, new driver today. Another, another one of the WSRs, and a name that will forever ruin me. It's Flip Flop Fish. I nailed it then, but <laughs> nailed you'll, it. You'll, you'll hear me. Uh, we'll wait till you're in a panic saying it. it oh, <laughs> if he's go, if he goes for a lethal dive bomb, we are not gonna be very professional <laughs> in pronunciation of Flip Flop Fish. Anyway, Fenrique, I need to stop doing that. Fenrique, starting the first fast lap of the stream. Should be fun. Turn the track map on. See where everything is. Fenrique mm. starting out on the hards. So, I think, every, wow, a lot of, lot of drivers getting a early running in on the hard tyre. Yeah, so a mixture of softs and hards. I think that <laughs> might... Juventus came straight back into the pit. <laughs> yeah, it might... I don't think there's going to rain, which is upset in me. Yeah. I love a, love a wet race. Going by the tyre choices. There's a sector one yellow. That could be a spin. It... Oh, J. Jig Burn is just... <laughs> Chilling off the track, letting people go by. I don't know whether that was a spin or what. But uh, I'm guessing where it was, it yeah. probably was a spin. Probably. That is unfortunate for him. Anyway, Fenrique rounds the last turn. Up to the line with a 1 minute 19.5. That is a decent banker lap on the hard tyre. And Mitch, Mitch has just dived into the pit lane. <laughs> yeah, I think driver's getting a uh, getting a bit of an eye in on the softs. On the softs, indeed. Big Slater beats Fenrique by four thousandths of a second on the soft <laughs> compound, though. As lap time well. starts to come in, flip flop fish into third. That was that was <laughs> a poor attempt. <laughs> Ragecon with a very respectable lap time of fifth. Oh, and Alps. Alp has just said bye to everyone. Let's have a look at DK. Raid's partner in crime. DK. He goes into. Oh no, have we had another moment at turn two? It's an Alpha, I believe. DK going through the tight and twisty part of the third sector. Oh, is that a corner cut? That's where some people... Very very possible to spin on that last corner. It was not going to cut. 120.6 for DK there. Another decent lap time. So yeah, should be interesting tonight's race. Everyone on the hards. This is incredible. Apart from Big Slater. And P2 at the moment. Surely he can beat that time though. Oh, he's got to. I think he's backed out. I think drivers 
Quite a lot of drivers will be looking to start on the medium tyre. Medium to hard is the preferred strategy round this track. If you're starting on the softs, you'll be doing a suspected two stop. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good point from Blades. If DK disconnects from this lobby, we need to be very concerned because he's on Tornado Watch tonight. Let's. Who should we move on to? Should we go? Should we go for an, an onboard with Juventus once he gets around the track? We'll stick with DK. Grugrux King for the moment. God, get my names mixed up. Grugrux King trying to set a lap time on the hard tyre. For the Haas team needs to pick up points. Last time Titchy was here, he had an absolute flyer from the safety car. He did. It was a beautiful moment. Had him on the podium, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> so he sets a 121.8, puts him up to P12. Let's go over to Juventus. And let's go for an onboard, shall we? With no hood on. Juventus flying up the pitch straight into the hard braking zone of turn one which turns into a quick left hander of turn two need to be careful not to swing swing spin there <laughs> swing <laughs> by the long right hander of turn three this is where the famous lewis hamilton and rossberg crash happened round turn four another similar sweeping right hander which is it then into a hairpin of tur turn five slow left hander important exit out onto the very tricky left hander up to I've got my turns mixed up up to turn seven that's turn eight flat almost flat out right hander of turn nine looking like a very good lap from Juventus down the second DRS straight into the tight left handed hairpin and up this corner which can spit you out if you're not careful into the gravel on the left round this it loves a, a long sweeping right hand of Spain and then into this tight section into sector three past the chicane very awkward there from Juventus as he rounds the last corner and sets a invalid lap of course it was <laughs> of course it was brilliant <laughs> cheers Juventus <laughs> Who should we go on to? A lot of people setting quite a few times on the hard tyre. Just getting their eye in. Sector 2 yellow. No, that's just... That's actually Sector Baker, five. I think, slowing down. Anyone on a fast lap? Let's go over to our bar. He's on an out lap. Or... Perry, just started. A fast lap on the soft tyre. For the soft tyre, you'll be looking at a 117, a low 117s for the for the likes of Perry in this tier. The likes of Alp, you'd be expecting them to be in the 116s, high 116s that is. But like I said, I reckon a lot of drivers will be starting on the medium tyre, which would be around the lap time of. High 117s and low 118s. So as Perry goes up into turn 9, you've got to be careful here. Right. Juventus up to P3, that's a good spot. He didn't invalidate that lap, did he? I was on the wrong lap. <laughs> on the wrong lap. To be honest, he might have just been doing two out laps because they didn't have the uh, thing on, so. But. Perry going into sector three. It's always a tricky part of the track, the final few turns of Spain as Perry just dodges into the pits. Must have, mustn't have been happy with the lap time. Mitch coming round then. Mitch coming round. Goes P2. P2 on the hard tyre. That's a good lap for Mitch. So the top oh, six oh, with softs. all with lap times on the hards. J Jig Burn seventh on the softs, and the rest of the lap times on the hards. <laughs> Only person to set a lap is J Jig Burn on the softs, and you'd expect him to be able to beat that lap time on the mediums. 
We went Big Slater with a lap time up to four for 119.2. Just. Yeah. I need to move. Bar. Who's on a lap? Why did I go over? <laughs> Flip flop fish. Let's give him some track, some air time. He's five tenths up on his previous lap time. Very quick driver is our flip flop. Should be expecting big things. Maybe to try challenge the likes of Fenrique and Alp and Mitch up the top of this tier. Alp obviously running away with it so far this season. Interestingly enough, though, Mitch and Fenrique only separated by one point for the fight for second. Flip Flop Fish sets a 118.2 on the medium tyre. Like that. that is a decent lap time. Alp is out on the softs. I must have been. Is he? Ooh, Alp is waiting for a toe off Fenrique. I think Fenrique is on a lap then. Yep. Mercedes doing the classic give the teammate a tow that they have been doing for the past few races. And it's worked well for them. I can't remember the last time it wasn't a one too much. It might have been last race. I've got a short term memory. I, I hate this camera angle. I can <laughs> through the halo. It is awful. Enrique sporting the number 69 on the Mercedes rounds the last corner to set the first lap of his on the medium tyre will he go pole yes he will with a 117.9 decent lap time there from Fenrique oh an Alps pit so Alp just he went out just to give him the toe yeah just wasting a set of soft so saving a set of mediums yeah that's what you want to see Matty Robbo has just followed the stream. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit late, mate. <laughs> Thanks, though, Matty. Yeah, cheers, Matty, for the follow. <laughs> Who shall we give a bit of air time? Get blank in. Mm. Mm. Like that. Blank. Blank. Very much a veteran. Veteran? A veteran. Oh, and blank's off! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, God, the first the time we move across, <laughs> and he's just bopped both of the left-sided wheels into the wall. It's a very dangerous curb, that. Plank will not be happy with me. That, that was, wasn't it? Oh, and Blades and KV subbed. Good times, lads, good times. So Plank obviously going into the pits to fix the front wing that he very well damaged. Oh, Flip flop fish is torn between softs and mediums. Element 10 going forth. Oh, that's a good lap tyre. Let's see what. I mean, Alp's still in third on this hard tyre. Mitch has actually gone out on the softs. Is he? Strategy should be interesting today. No, come straight back in again. I just I'm trying to find someone who's on a lap. Jay Jigburn just started a lap. Yes. Going through turn two. Looking very convincing. Didn't spin and he's in, uh, he's backed out with him. Yeah, straight away. Straight away. It's like he heard me. Bod Hod, not mentioned him tonight. As he rounds the herping after the second DRS straight. And up into we'll call it blank turn. Blank turn now. <laughs> <laughs> he's got one in Bahrain as well. Yeah, he's got plenty. <laughs> he's got one in China. Yeah. Blank's bottle. Bodhod round in the final corner to set A. 1 minute 18.6 on the medium tyre. That is the second lap on the mediums though. So, bit of a disadvantage for him there on the start. Oh, Raycon jumps to fifth. Raycon jumps to fifth. Representing tier three, you love yeah. to see it. What a man! Big up that man. The one and only. <laughs> yeah, Blades is listing all the blank. We got blank, but bleh, blank curve in Bahrain, blank bend in China, and blank turn in Spain. He's got plenty, has that man. 
Oh, Baker up to sixth as well. Perry Amazing. and Blank still yet to set a lap time. Squeaky bum time for him. Perry is on a lap though, on the soft compound of tyre. A lot of guys on the mediums. Yeah, he will. Perry will have to qualify on the soft tyre. She'll be looking for a pole time. Like I said, in the one, the low 117s, you'd think with the pace of the likes of Perry. Oh, there's, a big, there's a big train. Oh, I've just seen it. <laughs> and the Mercedes are right next to each other. Getting ready for that tow. And it's going to be for Alp, for sure. Fenrique out on the soft tight just to give Alp the tow. Round comes Perry. Perry comes round to set a 117.8. I'm not sure Maybe. whether he'll be happy with that, to be mm -hmm. honest. But we'll go over two if I can figure out the menus. Wrong driver, Alp, who is getting the toe off Fenrique as expected into turn one, then turn two. Perry doing a very good job to get out of the way of the current driver's championship leader. Alp is running, looking good, still in overtake mode, dropping it down to high ERS. I didn't see a sector one time, I don't know how this lap's going. Presuming that. This is a faster compound than what you said it on previously. Oh, I'd expect oh, two, to two temps up, three sector one. Two temps up, three sector one. I think we should could be seeing Alp start on pole on the medium compound tyre, which will be a huge advantage for him. Five temps up after sector mm. two. And now the twistiest part of the track, which will mean... Oh, flip flop oh, fish is gone. I think that is in the... It's sector two. Yeah. It's sector two. We're going to have to leave Alp because I want to have a look at this crash. Alp, in the meantime, though, does set a 117.4 on the medium tyre. That is an incredible lap time. Mitch has just gone past where the stricken Williams no, car of Flip Flop Fish. Juventus, I think. We went past it. Oh, I'm on board with Mitch, mate, as he's going through. Yeah. Oh, no, it was Juventus. <laughs> yeah, it was Juventus. Goes around the last turn to set A. Oh, a 1 minute 18.5 from Mitch. I'm not going to lie, I was expecting him to be up there with the likes of Fenrique. Perry's retired. Perry's laps. So lots of drivers retiring in the pits. Who is on a lap? Big Slater is on a lap on the medium tyre. Previous lap time set on the hards. So, in theory, he should be going faster this lap. You'd like to think he'd be up there with the likes of Arbar and Flip Flop Fish. Yeah. Maybe even battling Fenrique. I know these two have had some decent battles in the past and it does promote him to P4 with a 118.2. Beating Flip Flop Fish by... Around about two hundredths of a second. I need a drink because my mouth is getting very dry. Yeah. You, see me, fly, you, you see, see me flying. flying. He's, He's on a lap, fly. that's for sure. Yeah. Here's the last one gonna be across the line. And this is another absolutely awful camera. There we go. Is he there? Yeah, I think. He might be the only one left to set out. Yeah. He is on the soft tyre though, so it could be up there. I haven't seen his split times. No, neither have I, so this is going to be a shock to us all. As he slows down, opting yeah, to start P13. Yeah. Anyone else? Is that it? That is oh, it yeah. for qualifying. Wrap it up. <laughs> back it up, back it in. Let me begin. Don't start the karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is qualifying, my friends. And an interesting one at that. And Cos family. And Cos family indeed. Who are we waiting on? Let's watch Blank awkwardly and slowly get into the pit. 
So, qualifying order goes as Alp starting on pole on the medium tyre. Strong favourite for the race after the qualifying session. Next to him is Perry, the dog six on the soft tyre. That is his one disadvantage from qualifying. Fenrique third, being split by Perry. Fourth is Big Slater to round off the second row. Flip Flop Fish on his debut gets a P5. Very respectable effort from him there. Arbar P6. Mitch P7. Might be disappointed with that lap time. Element 10 with a respectable P8. Maybe looking to battle with the top runners. Bodhod P9. Raycon P10. And all them will be starting on the mediums apart from Perry. Outside of tyre regulations areas is P11, Baker, P12, Blank. We're doing this off memory. I can't remember. <laughs> Gone already. Gone already. You see, you see me flying is 13th. You see me flying is 13th. 14th is, I'm going to take a guess, Grugrot's King. Maybe DK. 15th. No one knows. Don't know. We got up to 13th. Very dark. Predictions, everyone, in the chat. And from you, Titchy, top three, who's it going to be? Oh, it's out, out for the win, surely. Out for the win, surely. If Perry, if Perry can get in front of him, he could be on for a podium if he takes the one stop to the hards. But then I think Henry can as well. I'll <laughs> say he's one too. We've I got an Alp to win by six laps. Oh, Jesus. That is a bold statement. I'm going to go boring and go... Mercedes one two. Ah, uh, do you know what? I think I'm gonna. Who's who's third? Ah, oh, Perry. Perry. Oh, God, you've been. Oh, and Baker's pressed it. Oh, oh no. You hate to see it. Well, I'd love to see Flip Flop Fish get on the podium on his debut. Oh, that well. <laughs> I've got help to win because, I mean, betting favourite lads, betting favourite. Second place, I think I'm gonna go with it. A... Ooh. Oh, Matty Robbo. Oh, oh yeah. 15 seconds. Um, I think I'm gonna go with. It's gotta be. It's gotta be Fenrique, I'm afraid with the Mercedes one two. And then to round off the podium, I think I'm gonna have to go with Flip Flop Fish. I think he's gonna do it, you know. So I'm gonna get rid of this full track map because it's uh Ooh. it's quite big Ooh. on the side of the screen. So you, the if, there's, this full thing. if there's any incidents, you tell me what's going on. I will. Tell you what, Titchy, prime conditions, I've noticed. Oh, overcast. Overcast. You'd, You'd really You'd do love, love to, see, to it. see it. Let's have a look at some tyre strategies from P11 downwards. P11 to 13 is on the medium tyre. Juventus was 14th, J Jig Burn 15th, DK 16th, and Grugrux King last. DK having tornado problems. Yeah, that's, that's his you problem there. It. Yeah, you can. So Baker, Blank, and you see me flying all star on the medium tyre, copying out the front ten of the nine of the front ten. Juventus, the furthest driver up the grid to start on the hard tyre. That'll be an interesting one. I think that could prove dividends for Juventus. JJ Byrne, medium, and DK and Grugrutz King no, also on the hards. We've had a ballard. We've had a death of the ballards. So Alp leads everyone through the final sector to eventually line up on the grid. I'm sounding like a robot. At least you picked it up yourself. Yep. <laughs> I think Dom's a bit confused about his predictions. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good. We've got a Juventus to finish sixth. Who will finish oh, eighth in the race? Is that is that what? That's, that's what, what we're going to do. Raidcon. You're going with Raidcon for eighth. Yeah, quickly. I'm going to go with Blank. Blank. Yeah. So we take the grids. And the LED red lights have started, and we're not going to get a glitch. The five red lights. Oh, and it was a long one, and we're off. I can't see anything. I can't see what's going on. 
Oh, and someone's wide already. Toro Rosso has, has binned it into a wall. It's a poor start from Al Perry with a lightning start up the inside. Should take the lead, and he does. Getting, getting, <laughs> getting a better start from Perry from the soft tyres. Oh, God, it's all kicking off. <laughs> Alp is down to fifth. Not what he wanted. I know he was nervous about the start with the long straight. Oh, so Baker is way. round. <laughs> but Perry leads the pack through into turn seven. And Perry will be hoping to get out of DRS range yeah. before the start of lap three. It's a good start from Perry, though. And he it's should start, start to get away. Yeah, but Fenrique looking up the inside. Can't get there. Flip flop finish. Gonna make... Oh, and Juventus. Nine. Up the inside of Blank. Ninth on the hard tyre. That's an incredible start. Up five places. I can't oh, find nothing. That, that is brilliant. DK can't go without a miss. Up four places himself. As we go back to the front, Perry starting to edge a gap away from Fenrique, setting the fastest lap of the race. It was the first lap, but you know, take it while you can. But Alp with a shocker. What a. Da and he can't make it's a move on our bar. No, it hasn't. This could be difficult for Alp actually after this start. Oh, Mitch is already out of DRS range of Flip Flop Fish. Oh, two pit stop mark. Bodhod and Jigg, Yeah, Bodhod and Jigg, both in, must have had wing damage. Baker managed to survive just to spin. <laughs> well him, that man. So, Mitch is trying to stay with the front six. So he has DRS to be in range of them. Perry going onto the gravel there slightly, won't help his cause, trying to get away from Fenrique. And the DRS range. No moves into that turn. No. Oh, on a sector two yellow. Oh no. Oh, he's had a nightmare. Where is that? Yeah, it's turn, turn four. three, four. Yeah, turn four. It's not a great start to the race, it has to be said. But Fenrique. Only three temps behind Perry. Maybe even looking for a move up the inside here. No, just a bit too far behind. Didn't even have a sniff. Nice it is indeed. Oh, halfway through this lap as well. Yep. Big Slater. Almost out of DRS range actually. Fenrique doing a stellar job yeah. to stay with Perry. My internet is really showing. <laughs> it's really, it's quality at the moment. It's it's looking very it's nice. Not, it's not their internet. It's your internet. No, it's definitely my internet. <laughs> From uh, Perry seems to have much better traction through the corners. Obviously on the soft tyre, I don't know what's going on. Fenrique though <laughs> seems to have better straight line speed. To be fair, he has used not even much DRS to stay with Perry. And I would have thought Perry would have... Oh, God. Oh, God. I would have thought Perry would have used a bit more DRS to actually get clear. Perry is lagging on my screen slightly. And he yes, seems... On my screen. Yeah. He's, I think he's fine. Just the UK to US connection. Yeah. Hopefully that's the case. He oh. moves there. Oh, oh. Move. oh, no. Perry's gone. It was Perry's connection, unfortunately. So that promotes, he's going to fall down the field. And I've missed a move. Alp has gone up the inside of Arbar into turn one. As he tries to gain back the time lost off the first lap. Oh, Blank's in the wall. Oh, Blank's in the wall. And unfortunately now I have someone who can watch that. And we're just going to watch him slowly drive away. With He has got wing damage as well. Yeah, I think it was with Ray Con he was with. I oh, don't know no. with Ray Con had picked up three seconds of penalties. And oh, Perry's back. Perry's back. Where is he dropped down to? He's down to P6 in the middle of a war. 
It can only be said. And he can't actually join the car yet because mayhem will be caused. So he's going to have to wait. Yeah, there he goes. He's gone straight in. Oh, or has he? I don't know. Still ghosting. Yeah, back up to the front runners. And Fenrique. After the actual racer. Is almost. What's going on here? Oh, JJ Byrne getting lapped already. That. Two stops in two laps. I want to know the quickest ever <laughs> lapped car on, in Carl's history because that is incredible. I think anyone that can help with that allies. Oh, and Perry's pit. This time. Is it his car that's pit? I don't. Well, obviously his car's pit, Titchy, but. Oh, and Blank's pit, and he's between the pit lane. Blank going in to change the front wing of the car. Oh, here is Perry. Perry has decided to come in. So the front six all on the same strategy. Perry's on the two stop. Perry, yeah. Perry will be on the two stop. Pitting that Bank. early. Bank's got to be looking to take those to the end now. So the front six have made a gap on element. Oh. Element seven, who is in P7. Element 10, who's in P7. Oh, wow. There's too many numbers going on there. <laughs> too many numbers. Juventus has dropped off the back of them as well. Yeah, there seems to be quite spaced out in the midfield there, but it should be exciting to see how the front runners battle their way. We've got a train of six. Who will drop off first? We'll find out sooner rather than later, I think, as Alp yes. is quite close to the back of... Big Slater could be looking for a move. He is in overtake. Big Slater defends up the inside. Alp going for it round the outside. Gives him the line of the inside for turn two. And round turn three. It is a quality move from Alp. I did notice actually Fenrique um, moved across to give Alp slipstream. Yeah. When. Um, Passing Big Slater there, so very good driving from him. Who's that? Oh, Gru. Oh, Gru oh no, fan favourite. Oh, and he's lost. He's lost a lot of his front wing. It is turn two, and he's just got in the way of Perry. <laughs> so Gru Gru's a great king. Round turn two. It is a lethal to oh, again, oh yeah. god. Yeah. So he's lost a lot of the left side of the front wing. Three seconds between the top six. It's that great. is beautiful. <laughs> the America's Tear providing entertainment once again. Now it's going to be interesting to see if Fenrique and Alp are going to come down to some sort of formal agreement of first yeah. place. Or if there's going to be war. There better be war. I want another two Mercedes crashing around here. I'm not going to lie. The Rosberg Hamilton into the No, it's Fenrique defend Fenrique's defending this. Oh two drivers, two Mercedes drivers battling away. It is beautiful stuff. And Fenrique does well to hold on to position. Arbar getting close to Big Slater as well, who's defending up the inside of turn four. Briefly, there was less than two seconds between the top six. That is beautiful stuff. <laughs> that is what you want to see. Oh, that's mental. Tom's predictions are looking great, apart from the podium. Yeah. Grigot's King into the pits to change the front wing that he lost at the wall. Oh, and he's given up. Grew! <laughs> that's high hopes. We did indeed. Any more battles going on anywhere else on the track? No, it's just, no, the, it's just the front <laughs> six. We've got a train of six and everyone else is split up. That is brilliant. That is... That is I mean, it makes my life easier because... Yeah, we'll just watch that. Yeah. So, Fenrique, mm -hmm. will he defend again? He's in overtake, so he will. I don't know whether he'll have the gap, though. Yeah, I think it'll be side by side into turn one, however. As Alp goes up the inside. No, he's too far back. Fenrique not opting to defend. It was probably the right choice there. Well done him. Mitch had a look on flip flop fish. Decided yeah. against it. Flip flop fish and Mitch seem to have decent pace. Maybe being held up by the train. 
So they'll be looking to get past. Oh, it's a sector one yellow, and it's Raidcon. Oh, I think, no. yeah. Yeah. The same exact a mirror oh, incident to Grugrux King. Shot, he's yeah. lost the same oh. amount of front wing as well. <laughs> he's got a plank on the left side of that. McLaren. That's unfortunate for him. He was looking good in a P. I think it was P8. Yeah. No. He, uh, P9, I think. P9. He was in the points positions. Unfortunate for him. Juventus is one to watch in this race. P8 on the hard tyre. Not far off the back of Element 10. And with the leaders battling the way they are. It's holding them up a little bit, isn't it? It is holding them up a bit. Flip flop fish. Have another battle, though. DK on the back of You See Me Flying. DK on the back of You See Me Flying. Two greats of the Americas tier. So. We'll have a look at Fenrique and Alp again. Something's happened. Element 10's round. Oh, oh no. no. But Fen... I don't know what's going on. Fenrique's defending from the outside. And he's done it well to <laughs> swing it across. I didn't know who was who though. It's quite hard to commentate when there's... Like, Two the same car. Though. Yeah. It's another sector. Th oh, d Lads! Don't retire in the pits. Oh, and it's a safety go. car! What will oh, the medium is, runners do? They have to pit. This is going to ruin the hot Juve, Juventus. Juventus race. is crying. Yeah. He's crying. Perry, thank you for the sub. I think Ray can bend it coming into the pit, mate. Ricky wants the gap to leader. I mean, it's a pretty pretty irrelevant now, but yeah, it was it was under two seconds at one point, Ricky, between the top six. Four month in a row from Perry, subscriber. What? Love that man. And that might have saved. See, this is why you don't retire, lads. Don't retire. Especially with this new safety car. Chance. Raid. I mean, she would have been back in the race, man. Oh. Who stopped on the track? Who will Fenrique is staying out and that might give out the advantage all the front six apart from Fenrique staying out on track or going into the pits that that was stupid will anyone jump anyone I don't I think it's to stop the double stack you know but he needs to be a bit more selfish in that situation he was definitely batting out bat, batting out battling out for the lead did we have any jumps in the pits? I don't think so. Oh, we had Mitch. Mitch jumped flip-flop fish. The Ferrari mechanics actually doing something useful. Is that a safety car from the Raycon the tower in the pit I don't, I don't know. Hopefully not. Yeah. I think someone spam. I'm not sure. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. It, it probably <laughs> was. Let's be honest. It's F1 2019. It probably was Raycon retiring it's in the car. pits. This car ended up stopping round turn three, so... Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely that. So everyone in the top six at the moment opting for the hard tyre to go to the end. Which is obviously the sensible option. No one opting for a cheeky two stop. Which would have been a naughty thing to do. Could have... Been a good strategy if another safety car was deployed. And now Fenrique has lost so much time. Yeah, Fenrique yeah, is. Is he gonna pit? Oh, it's. Yeah, it, it's I, so he's gonna be at the back of the grid almost. Yes. And Jay Burns' car is just slowly and awkwardly making his way through. I don't know what's going on Fenrique does pit and so does JJ Burn probably put fresh shards on to go to the end of the race that might have saved his race slightly actually so Fenrique pit oh. yeah it's just you hate to see it yeah. Fenrique was looking good at the front of that race TK put mediums on DK going for the two stop. I like it. You see me flying, however, putting on another set of softs. That is confidence. Terry, 
Uh, Perry's Ghost is seventh. <laughs> Perry's Ghost is flying high in seventh. <laughs> Beating his teammate, it should be said. Yeah. He has had a wing change. Who has had a wing change? It, yeah, it does have to be. Or has he? We're I think he's fine actually. Catch up the back of the field. Yeah, I don't know whether safety car will be in this lap. Ray's is happy he caused the safety car, and so am I, Ray. It will make. It screwed up Dom's predict predictions, <laughs> but un unfortunately, that's the sacrifice I'm willing to take. Safety cars happen. Well, at least now they do. Matrix saying that Blank surely has to pit for fresh hards, and I know he can make it to the end on those hard tyres. Did, did he have a spare set of hards? That's the question. That is the question. To be fair, he might have used some in qualifying, but they would be fresher than what would have been. The safety car is in this lap. Juventus mm. on ten lap old hard tyres leads from the likes of Alp, Big Slater, Arbar, and Mitch, and Flip Flop Fish. I think the same happened to Fruitful yesterday. I am um, some poor menus there. Has JJ been, been given the chat? Yeah. Okay. He's a lap down. <laughs> so, when will Juventus go? It's now. Around the last turn, and it seems to be a decent getaway. Yep, yeah, he's bolted. He has, and it's Alp seems to get... I've had a poor exit, and Big Slater's right up his backside. Looking for a move around the outside of turn one. I'm loving this camera angle. Yeah. Big Slater with a great oh, move on Alp. Man. That is gorgeous to take a net P1 of the Spanish Grand Prix around the Catalonia circuit. Will Alp look for a move up inside turn three? No, he will not. Alp needs to work on his slow starts from safety cars and on the grid. Element 10 overtakes Perry. Perry's ghost, that is. Could call that a multi-21. Who cares? So, interesting to drive to watch here would be obviously the front. I mean, it's close to six. everyone up now. It has, <laughs> it has indeed. I don't know where to look. <laughs> Juventus has done well to keep the lead on those worn out hards. Right. Juventus has to be hoping for a, another safety car. That is unfortunate. Yeah. It is unfortunate to think about now. But DK's it's the top six again. It is the top six again. DK with the two second gap. Enrique coming back through the field, I think. Yeah, that is a good point. But at the moment, Big Slater looking to make a move on Juventus. Juventus with so much straight line speed. Defends into turn one. Keeps the position well. Henrique coming up on Baker now into turn one. Henrique up the Job. inside of Baker. Job. Job done. Jobs are good. <laughs> so Henrique into the points. He'll be devastated. Absolutely devastated. And Alps made a move on Big Slater into turn three. Big Slater That's caught it. napping. That is a big move. So Alp takes a net P1. Can Juventus now somehow help Mitch? Yeah, yeah, that's what he needs to do. Just back these drivers up. However, Alp will have slipstream on Juventus and a much better exit. Looking up the inside of the hairpin, Alp defends, oh, not defends, attacks up the inside. We've got him, I think. Oh, and Juventus going on the grass slightly, defending another position now from Big Slater. Those tyres must be feeling horrible. Oh, and it's getting tight in there. It's the top six. It's top six, and Alp is looking to run away, take advantage of the battle and going on behind him. DRS is enabled. Lap 14 of the race. 1.9 seconds covers the top six. Arbar up the inside of Big Slater. Big Slater defends well. Well done, that man. Oh, but I'm still looking though, up the inside of turn three. Big Slate has been done <laughs> been done there once before. Still side by side. They're ghosting through each other. It's not what you want to see. But Big Slater holds on to the 
Net P2. Very well done for Big Slater there. Says no to Arbar. After a similar move was made on him and by Alp. Unsuccessful. Juventus needs to stay within DRS of Alp. If I was him, I'd be using as much of that ERS as I could. But I don't think it'll be enough. Juventus. If he is dropping that. He is. Yeah, I think Big Slater will be licking. I can't speak. I don't know what's going on after the safety car. Licking his lips. I hope Flip Fog Fish doesn't have any battles up ahead of him. He seems to be sitting comfortable behind Mitch at the moment. Yeah. Let's have a look at Mitch actually, looking up the inside of our bar. Decides no on the move. Fenrique going up the inside of you see me flying, but you see me flying defends well. He's in the softs. He is. He is, but Fenrique side by side stuff from the two drivers. This is spectacular driving. Fenrique oh, keeps it up the still. inside. <laughs> Fenrique on the hard tyre, battling away with you see me flying. You see me touches the grass, changes no, to the inside. The inside. Of the sharp left hander, switch back. back from Fenrique. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, Into the fast up the hill going. left hander of turn seven. Fenrique keeps it up the inside. You see me flying, holds it round the outside, oh. it, up the inside of turn nine. You see me oh, flying. Then, this is insane. Not. And then Fenrique has got DRS. DRS ruins races. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> There's a story there. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was beautiful stuff. That was well done, them two. Some very yeah, clean racing. <laughs> Big Slater we'll a lot DRS. closer to Juventus, who will not have DRS as he is 1.3 seconds behind Alp. Will Big Slater be able to make a move on Juventus? Juventus' car seems to have incredible straight line speed, but he's running out of ERS. Big Slater. He's on quite a bit. Interestingly, Arbar using a lot of ERS to keep up with his drivers. And what's got? Blank and Baker are bite, biting, fighting. Too many Bs in that. Baker takes P11. Flip flop fish is close to the back of Mitch. It's just your classic DRS train now. It is a classic. And Alps taking full advantage. Yeah. Just extending his lead at the front. 1.6 seconds now. That's three temps since we last checked. That should be Fenrique. And Big Slater will be looking for a move maybe up the inside of Juventus here. No, too far back from him. In the meantime... Blank and Baker still scrapping away. Bodhod behind, Bod behind him on the medium tyre, so he'll be looking to try and get through. But Juventus Amazing. rounds the final corner with Big Slater looking to attack again. He's a lot closer this time. He is. I think he'll get the move done. Juventus defends the inside. Will it be enough? No, it will not be. Big Slater gets past Juventus and pursues his hunt of P1, trying to gain on Alp. And it will be interesting to see if he has the pace oh, to do Juventus so. Wide, okay. Juventus has gone wide. <laughs> Therefore giving him a better exit into turn four. <laughs> Pretty sure you don't get a warning for that either. No, you do. You do. So, let's have a look at some other battles. P11. The fight for P11. It's heating up. It really is. Bodhod Enemy looking to get past the two hard runners in front of him. On the back of DK as well. Element 10, yeah, is on the back of DK. Those medium tyres might start to go out. Oh, Fenrique has joined it as well. Fenrique is getting involved. He's clawing his way back. He is indeed, after his misfortunes under safety car. Flip flop fish is. Smelling the back of Mitch's Ferrari. And Juventus has dropped from DRS range already of Big Slater. Just shows how much those hards are giving him problems. Juventus with a late defend on Arbar. Arbar 
easily it's pass and it's oh tell you what we're two by two into turn one we see me flying to come around as and well. Juventus has kept it or has he Arbar looking up the inside of turn three and he's got the move done flip flop fish has also got Mitch up the inside of turn one so the Ferrari's having a bit of a bit of a mare there looking up the inside oh, of Juventus into turn five yeah that's, that's right fun. Heating up at the front, starting to separate the drivers is Juventus. Yeah. And a sector two yellow. Oh, and it's Fenrique! It it's Fenrique! Oh, I can't even grab him. <laughs> Who's he had an incident with? Oh, it looks like it's an incident with Element 10. Element 10, yeah. Has he got wing damage? That would be crucial. I don't think he does. That gives DK a bit of freedom. An element 10, I don't think has wing damage either. Oh no, he does. Right end plate going for element 10. That is unfortunate. And Juventus pits. Juventus pits. Upsetting fastest lap on the hard tyre. Just asserting dominance at the front there. So it looks like Fenrique's. Gonna drop all the way to the back. He is indeed. Pitting for the medium tyre as expected. So that's left. Flip flop fish with Arbar to overtake now. Unleash the fish! <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he's got. <laughs> oh, and Perry's ghost has pit. Love to see it. D double stack from the Red Bulls. Yeah. It, has that held up Element 10? No, it hasn't. Oh, that would have been terrible. That would have been atrocious. Absolute stitch up that would have been. Oh! Mitch is gone! Oh no! Oh! He's been it! Survived. Oh! And he's... Oh, he's come back across! Oh my god! Mitch, what are oh, you doing? Mitch, no. And he's. Oh, and it's a VSC! Oh, no. Someone was tiring in the. A lap too early. <laughs> oh god, it's. it's... It's all gone wrong for the Ferraris. Crash gate, but executed poorly. Is anyone going to come in? That is the question. Anyone going to take a risk and pit for the mediums? DK, get DK in now. DK, get him, my has, son. He has, he has. <laughs> DK offer a great result here if this pays off for him. I don't know what tyre he started on, though. He might have to go onto the hard tyre. He started on the softs, I think. No, he's no one started on the soft. He started on the medium. Unless he started on the hards, that will be illegal. <laughs> what he's just done there. You see me flying, oh, obviously, pitting, and Mitch. I will, I will quickly check what he started on. Our bar seems to have dropped off. Oh, no. He, he did indeed I, start on the hard tyre. I think our bar's just got the glitch there, unfortunately. Because oh, no. he's dropped off by about a second and seven tenths from Big Slater there and he's still been caught with speeding oh, under safety car so that's unfortunate for him however Flip Flop Fish is looking to attack Arbar Blank is up to 5th Blank is up to 5th who'd have thought that have for a set of mediums down I there. don't think he will be for long however no. and Bodhod didn't pick I think that's a mistake from him, unfortunately, in my opinion, in my expert opinion. Yeah. Oh, and oh, yeah. you see me flying. I, I almost caught that, actually. <laughs> uh, he's gone. That's unfortunate. Mitch will definitely be getting a penalty for those actions. And oh, we've missed an overtake. Flip Flop Fish oh. easily overtaking down the main straight. Passed him before the corner even arrived. Bodhod on blank doing the same so that's promoted him into P5 however he still has a pit stop to make you'd assume blank does as well although he came for no I, I reckon he blank will go them to the end. end yeah I reckon he will Juventus and DK are going at each other both on fairly fresh mediums god damn Safety cars have not helped Juventus at all. Flip flop fish is on for that 
debut podium. He is on for a debut podium, and it's what you want to see from yeah. the big man, from the the big fish. Is the big fish in the pond? <laughs> Blank, interestingly, kept up with Bodhard. Yeah. On that hard set of tyres, yeah. so it just shows how quickly the mediums go off towards the end, and Alps just just. Just having a bit just of fun. Just, yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye to everyone behind me. He's been released. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> so, will Blank have a move done on Bodhard? I think he's a bit too far back. We need this camera angle every time we're down this main straight because all the other ones are awful. <laughs> And it's sort of petered out. Blank is the closest driver to the one in front of him. Flip Flop Fish is trying to get away from Arbar. I am starving. All this talking is getting me hungry. I'm talking of fish. Talking of fish. Get me down to it, Chippy. Arbar getting, gaining three temps actually through the early stages of Sector 2. Using DRS to his advantage, of course. But not close enough to even warrant a move on Flip Flop Fish. Uh, I'm devastated. If you've entered, have waited one more lap. Oh no. Oh, and. Oh, well, drive through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's. I hate this. That glitch is. It just ruins races. It's poor from Codemasters. If you want that taken off our bar, just send it into Codemasters, mate, and just <laughs> just have a have a bit of a rant. Oh God, it's half full. Um, Fenrique like on right. a bit of a recovery drive up the inside of Baker into turn one. Baker no, on no ERS, pretty much. Fenrique making easy work of it on the 12 lap old hards. It does now look after our bar. It looks like. The podium is pretty much set. It does, unfortunately. Oh, a sector three yellow. What's gone on there, Titchy? I do believe it is JJ Burn again. Okay, Jig Burn. Uh, oh God, what's gone on there? Lost <laughs> it himself. Uh, no, I, I, I just viewed Raycon's profile by accident. <laughs> <laughs> so the street, the stream stopped for a second there. That was my fault. But Blank staying with Bodhard. Bodhard struggling on the uh, medium tyre. And slowing up Blank now. He's 18 and a half old hards. Good man if he gets them to the end. Even though a certain tier 3 driver managed 33 laps on the hard tyre. 32 laps, sorry, on the hard tyre. Shout out KV. Cost me a podium mine, but you know. Well, I cost me a win. Yeah. Which was unfortunate. But enough for that. This is the only <laughs> battle on track. <laughs> and nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> Flip Flop Fish is gaining on Big Slater, I think. Interestingly yes. enough. He says that oh, he's just lost a ten foot. Okay. I don't know the situation. You might. I don't think there's been many. It's not a track known for penalties, but Big Slater is one in three. Oh, big man. Good man. As is flip flop fish. Nice. <laughs> what about Alp? Alp is there Does any Alp check? by any chance have three penalties? No, he's got one warning. One warning. Come on Alp, <laughs> make it interesting. Just cut corners, mate. Or crash. <laughs> Bodhart has many penalties. That's not what you want to see. Two, two penalties he has. Six seconds. Yeah. I think the only place I can think where you get a penalty or warning is turn 11 if you're taking the line of cutting the corner completely. Which you can do, but it will spit you out if you're not careful. Enrique is a warning off a penalty. And Blank has that five second time penalty in the pit. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Oh, no, nightmare. <laughs> he can't get past Bodhard as much as he tries. 
Tenrique is going to catch him up too. Yeah, they are. He's going to have to get a move on, though. Tenrique has shown his outstanding pace. Unfortunate race difference? from today. When does Bod Hod pit? When does Bod Hod I've pit? Seen now. If this he lap, takes those to the end, I will <laughs> eat my hat. I'll eat my cookie. That's what I'll do. Tip Mitch to slap his mum again. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree with that one. Good, good idea. <laughs> Fenrique reeling the two drivers ahead of him in as quick as possible. And it's a, it's been a good recovery. Oh, and there's another one. It's been a good yeah. recovery drive, to be fair, from Fenrique. Looking for a P4 at the moment. This safety car has ruined the race. It really has. We need another one. We need to start a petition. New safety car. Oh, Alp. Alp. He's doing it. He heard us. He's picking up warnings. He's picked up two warnings. That is. Since I've checked. So <laughs> only three seconds in the lead now is our Alp. Yeah. Oh. Blank on board hard. It's very close. Can't get it done though. So Blank forever the up. He can't take those mediums to the end. No, I don't think he can. I don't. It, it, I'd if, be struggling now. If he does, then that will be <laughs> insane. Yeah. But if he pits now, I think he should come out. Between DK and Mitch, he should come yeah, out. Yeah, so P11. It's Juventus. Oh Juventus no, it's around. Juventus. Oh no. The Ferraris are having a poor day of it today, and I can see a bit of wing damage there. Yeah. Both end Both plates sides. have come off. Yeah. And interestingly enough, we have another battle, and it's for a, a podium position <laughs> of second place. Flip Flop Fish has gained quite a bit of time on Big Slater, actually, past few laps. Yeah. Big Slater might have been dis distracted by Perry's ghost. He got a DRS off him there. And made a mistake. He did get DRS off him. Penalties are at Dom. Alp is on three seconds. Slater, flip flop fish. Oh, and Blank's oh, made Blank's, a move. Blank's Blank has finally got big. Past Bodhard. Bodhard looking for a switch back of sorts. Well, Alp's out of it. I don't know. Juventus is pit. Oh, it's JJ clipping people through. Don't know why. So, flip flop fish. Could he be eyeing up a move into. Juventus is coming to put the softs on in the wing change. Bodhod and Fenrique are having a little scuffle. Oh, and something's up. Oh, and Fenrique's, Fenrique gone Fenrique's off again. lost it again. Every time he looks good oh, well, back to seventh behind Bacon. for a recovery, he just drops it. And I'll tell you what, that's pretty much... Blank's in P4. There's a tear in my eye. And an Arbar... He's definitely not going to let Fenrique past him. Likely. So that is a unfortunate error from Fenrique. Anyway, down the main straight of Flip Flop yeah. Fish. Looking around the outside of Big Slater. Oh, he's got, he's got twice as much GRS. Big he? Slater holds on well. He does indeed. He's just been charging that battery behind Big Slater. Oh, and Bodhod has pit and I think it's too late to be honest I think he was committing to yeah. the mediums to the end and I don't think he's it's, it's happened James yeah, retired in the pit lane that's in the pits safety Arbar car has got past Baker as well <laughs> safety car oh no <laughs> yeah, Arbar's past Baker I missed that sorry you too I'm sorry to Arbar I suppose because I don't think Baker wants to be seeing himself getting overtaken Got a sector one yellow. I think that might be JJ Burns. Yeah, it's car, his car coming out of Coming out of the pits. Flip flop fish showing his class in following other drivers in dirty air. So he will be looking for a move into turn one down the main straight. Very long straight on the track. Possibly the best overtaking move. Alp just taking the Mickey now. <laughs> 
Big Slater opting to go on an inside line to defend early. Compromising his exit speed and I think oh he's held it up the inside almost but flip flop fish with the superior traction out the corner and the inside line for turn two which is very very close after turn one. Fenrique on Baker. Fenrique just getting out from the back of Baker. Getting the move done before we even get into the raking zone. So it's a good move from Fenrique there. Promote himself up into sixth position. Tell you what, good running from the Alfa Romeo drivers. Was going to call them Sal, but then I've been watching a lot of um, previous Grand like season seasons. Yeah. So that was almost a mistake that would have been slated. Mitch's pit probably go for fastest lap of the race. I don't think it's going to matter. Well, the, both Ferraris are going for fastest lap of the race. Mitch knowing, of course, that Fenrique is only one point ahead of him. So damage limitation at this point. He is P12 though, so it's unlikely he's going to... Yeah. I think he's to take it off someone else. Which would be his teammate now. Yeah. Well, Big Slater is on a fight back on Flip Flop Fish. Flip Flop Fish on a... it. I'm, I'm trying my best, Titchy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Flip Flop Fish unable to get away from Big Slater in the lap that he had to do so. Big Slater making an easy move of it up the inside into turn one and taking on front position, oh dear, what's going on? I don't even know. That might be a car letting someone through. I'll tell you what I'm hoping for, I'm hoping I see that bollard there actually. The one going into the pits. <sighs> Big Slater losing the back end slightly into turn seven. And <laughs> Flip Flop Fish is very close out. behind. He's had to back out because of dirty air. Oh, fakes up the outside, into the inside. Oh, Flip-flop no. fish, takes the position. Great move. Great racing from these two drivers. Blank Could behind them. The we'll end. just be hoping that one of them bins it for a podium position. Podium. Question is now, though, will Flip-flop fish get a good exit out of the last turn? to defend the position from Big Slater and I think he's got a better exit however Big Slater with the slipstream and early DRS that this straight gives you I think we'll get the move done maybe he's going around the outside turns into the inside for turn two gets the move done yeah well done from Big Slater I think this battle is going to go to the finish are these these two are on the same amount of penalties as well aren't they yes so zero. this is this is for on track position. Matrix already getting his uh, prediction of not only driver of the day, but driver of the season from Mr. Blank 101. But five laps to go, he said at the time. Only three more laps. Stretching those hards out to 29 laps. That will be a spectacular effort from the Canadian. In the meantime, P12 he started. Flip flop fish unable to get a move done after the second DRS straight. Mitch setting fastest lap of the race with a 119.4 on the soft tyre. That was his aim all along after that pit stop. And while well, we're just yo yoing. No! Oh, no blank. What's our bars penalty situation? I'll have to have a look. That's going to be 8 seconds for. Oh, it is as well, isn't it? Oh, no. Nightmare. In the no. meantime, Flip Flop Fish getting the move done before turn one is even within reach for Big Slater to defend. These eight seconds. For yeah, him. No, for um, Arbar has no penalties. Um, Enrique has what? no penalties. Bodhod is going to be looking. Should be an easy move for him on DK to take eighth position. Fenrique is a three second penalty. That's and he is approaching our bar. Bodhod makes a move up the inside of turn one on DK to take P8. However, Bodhod, as we know, has many penalties, so 
unfortunately for him. I don't know whether that will really matter in the grand scheme of things. Interestingly enough, Big Slater, five temps down now on Flip Flop Fish. Seems to have made a mistake, maybe. To keep... Oh, oh, oh an Arbar. <laughs> well, the penalties are flying in at the end of the race. And now it's going to be that... Speeding in the pit lane that's going to knock it Black will. backwards. It will, that's unfortunate for him. So, the big defend from Flip Flop Fish. And of course he starts lagging, because why wouldn't he? That'll yeah, be that'll be my internet. Major overtaking. Point. It is a big slate around oh. the outside. Squeezes flip flop fish into turn one. Flip flop fish might not be happy with the way that move was conducted, but it's how it is. Now big slater will be defending for his life up until the line. He's three temps up on his best lap time. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously DRS assisted, Flip Flop Fish has one more DRS straight to make a move stick. After that it will be very difficult for him. He'll be looking for a mistake from Big Slater. We'll keep with these two. You're going to have to keep an eye on out for me. So Flip Flop Fish down the DRS straight. I don't think he's going to be close enough. It's been great battling from these two. Flip Flop Fish showing an early sign of what he's about as we'll skip to the race leader who rounds the final corner of the race in what looked to be maybe a difficult race for him at the start but he's made it look simple at the end winning by 10 seconds is Alp Mutke <laughs> second place will be Big Slater leading Flip Flop Flish by two and a half tenths which is incredible in the meantime, however, Arbar seems to have overtaken oh, oh, Blank on track. Yeah. Maybe... Blank may be making a mistake there, but... Arbar coming fourth, and Blank coming fifth on track. P6... Uh, P7 after penalties. Great mm -hmm. drive from him, though, getting those hard tyres to 29 laps. Mm -hmm. Benrique... <laughs> Fenrique finishing P5, unfortunate race for him, probably looking for the win at points in that race, however a unfortunate miscalculation under the safety car meant he dropped back to the rear of the pack, along with a few spins and moments and that has left him in P5 in what could have been a win for him. Baker, not didn't really see much of him to be honest in the race, but he's finishing a respectable P6. Ahead of Blank, which we spoke about. DK in, finishes 8th ahead of Bodhod after penalties. Bodhod in 9th. Mitch lost it around the chicane. He did a me. Well done, Mitch. Nightmare race for Mitch. 10th <laughs> uh, was Element 10 in the last points playing positions. Finishing behind Bodhod. 11th, I can't remember. We'll have to wait. I think it was Juventus. I think it was Juventus, says Titchy. We'll have a look. Oh, bit of XP there. So 11th place was Juventus in the Ferrari. Though the Ferrari drivers were looking good at some stage. But unfortunately for them it all unstuck. Juventus having some misfortunes with the safety car timing. You see me flying in P12 was looking good and then he had an incident with Mitch who finished P13. Poor race from him, must be said. Perry with connection difficulties finishes a P14, a lap down. J Jigburn who retired I think in the pits in the pit lane. after many spins. Not a great race from him to be fair, must be said. Raycon and Grugrux King making a crucial error of recy recycling. Don't, no, that's not an error. Recycle is good for the planet. Of retiring in the pits before even the first safety car was deployed and their race could have been very much different if they had stayed out. That's why you stay out, especially after the first update, making safety cars more common. So we'll get drivers in for interviews. That will be Alp, Big Slater and Flip Flop Fish. We can speak to the, the fishy man himself. So, do you want to get them invited, Titchy? I can indeed. You can't. You certainly will. 
So, driver of the day votes, lads, in the chat. All 14 of you. I want to see 14 votes, please. For driver of the day. I'm going to have to suggest some players to invite. We did not do this very well. We did not think of this. Yeah, sorry about this, everyone. I'm not seeing many driver of the day votes, everyone. I'm disappointed, lads. Need to get them in. Where's f you you inviting Flip Flop Fish? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Hurry up. We've got a f vote for Slater of Driver of the Day. Yeah, that's Slater and Flip Flop. Flip Flop with a podium on his first outing in Contest of Speed. Very good for him. him. Who's your prediction? A prediction? Who's your Driver of the Day vote going to? My Driver of the Day. Yeah. Hello. I think I'm gonna have to go with flip flop fish, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. for on, Slater. On debut. On debut yeah. Podium. Flip flop fish, he said he's gonna blur his T V at the highest volume. Just waiting for drivers to join the party for the interviews. And for Taking the time to be fair to him. Who's in the party? Oh, 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 we're just waiting on one other driver, and there he is. So, do you want to do the interviews, Titchy? Oh, no. No, you're not. not you get the questions in. Confidence <laughs> not up yet. So, we'll start with P3. Flip flop fish. I love hearing myself in the background. Um, with flip flop fish. Starting in P6, I think it was, or P5. Um, what was what was your thoughts after qualifying? Thoughts after qualifying? Strategies? Plans? Yeah. Medium's hard. You'll have to see it. We all know Jeff's. Jeff's just. Jeff. Jeff's just <laughs> he's trying his best. Leave him alone. <laughs> but, um. Another question for you there is. Your battling with Big Slater was probably the highlight of the race. To be honest, so well done on that. Some clean battles there. After the safety car, anyway. After the safety car, yeah. Um, did you think you'd come out on top in that battle, or were you no, not confident? They can't hear. They can't hear you, flip up. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, we're done with you now. <laughs> Congratulations on your P3. Uh, and you were... I think you were voted driver of the day. I voted you driver of the day. So I'm going to be... I'm going to be the dictator here. And just say you're driver of the day. So moving on to P2. Big Slater. Congratulations there. Is that your highest finishing cos? Ah... Joint highest finish for you. Did you think you could maybe win the race? Or did you just see Alp just go off into the... Yeah, he, he is unbearably quick. He, he has. And it's, yeah, it's showing. Um... Your thoughts on your battle with Flip Flop Fish? Happy with, obviously happy with you, how it went out. <laughs> oh, ah, yeah, well. Yeah, it was a great drive on his. 
out first outing into contest of speed i think i don't know if you've been here before i don't think so so well done on your p2 the big slater so we'll move on to our runaway victor in the end in alp mutke I, I can't pronounce your full name um no i've noticed <laughs> <laughs> Poor start from you, Alp. What happened? Another one. <laughs> Dropping this down to P5. I was expecting it. You were yeah. expecting it. At, at least it was better than Mexico. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. a good point. But yeah, poor start from you again. I think you need to get working on them. Uh, your pace is quality, I'm... but your starts is toilet. Got uh, right. So we yeah, thought... If I knew what was wrong. I, I can fix it, but <laughs> working on that, I've been working on that for like a year and a half. He's working on a fix. Nice. That's what you want to hear. But we actually thought it was going to be very interesting to see if you could battle your way through the train that had occurred between six cars at the front of the race. Three seconds between six cars. Yeah, before yeah, the safety really car. Enjoyable. I bet it was. I bet it was stressful as well. But you managed to get your way through. And well done on that. Um, Fenrique, good battles with him, and then he made a mistake, it seemed like, under safety car. Yeah, I was preparing for a double stack, but yeah. you know, I was surprised to see him continue. I think it would have been a good battle with him. It would have been. Opponents. It was a good battle yeah. to start off with. I don't know why he didn't pit. Oh, it's I actually really annoyed me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to be having words with... Um, Fenrique about his tactical game there then but congratulations on P1 that will yeah. round off podiums podiums interviews podiums. I can't speak tonight it's been useless I said recycling <laughs> yeah it's, it's half past three in the UK so we'll get on to a few plugs and then we'll finish it off so not going to do many next race will be on monday it will be round suzuka circuit and it will be the delight of tier three the best tier in contest of speed no bias needed um because i'm racing in it and so is titchy but mainly me so <laughs> monday night 10 o'clock then you've got tier two where you can watch the fierce battles between varamir jacob and robin for the drivers championship that will be at 10 p.m. on a Tuesday night and then the fastest drivers in contest of speed will be showing out on the Wednesday night at 8 p.m. UK time join us next week at same time next week on Thursday for the Amtier race again to watch some beautiful driving from these beautiful people and with that I'll say goodbye Titchy do you want to say goodbye goodbye Alp, do you want to say goodbye? Of course, goodbye. Slater, goodbye. <laughs> Fish flop, flip, flip, bye. Oh <laughs> <laughs> and we'll end it there. I didn't even check if your voices were shared, so that might have been a disaster, but goodbye. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> bye, everyone.